Hey guys, this is Ron from the Rochester Culture. How are you doing today? Hope all is well. Uh, it's a beautiful day on this wonderful Wednesday, March 3rd in South Florida. Spring break. Spring break, yes. Um, a lot of people coming down. We have a lot of people coming into the airport. Uh, Miami Airport, Fort Lauderdale. Um, and some at the Palm Beach Airport. Hopefully you guys can see me, I'm kind of dark. Alrighty, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, there is a, you can call it a ride share if you want, but what, I'll call it maybe a livery service or a chauffeur service called Black Lane. So Black Lane has been out, I think about six years now, five to six years. Don't quote me on that, I still gotta do some more research. But um, I was watching the, the ride share professor uh, and he was in his truck, in his Escalade, talking about that uh, there would be some competition with Uber. So I wanna talk about um, what's happening here in Miami-Dade County and Broward County when it comes to this black service. So if you guys were not aware, in Miami and in Broward, well, we're gonna call it the South Florida market. In the South Florida market, the luxury cars were called Lux. In other markets, it's called Black. And I think, I think it's only Lux and Black. Those are the two names that Uber was using. Uh, we in South Florida had a, we had what's called Lux and Lux uh, XL. Um, and Uber changed the name about a year, a year and a half ago. I think it's, I think in March, if I'm not mistaken and they changed it to Premier so the drivers don't have to go out and acquire uh, a license from the city and uh, commercial insurance because the cities were requiring that if you called it Black, you were, if you called, sorry, if you called it Lux, you're essentially uh, uh, are in delivery service and you need a special permit and licensing for that and insurance. So uh, Uber changed the name to uh, from Lux to Premier. At the same time, they also dropped the fares, uh, the rates for the driver by doing that as well, uh, which was a big ordeal because Lux drivers, or now they're called a Premier drivers, uh, are driving Suburbans, GMCs, and Escalades uh, in Miami you will see high-end um, uh, luxury cars like the Mercedes-Benz GLS and uh, Audi A8. Um, I'm sorry, Audi Q8, sorry, my apologies. The three-row Audi. Um, you'll see these big vehicles uh, and even Escalade. Um, and even now, the drivers are even having newer Escalades and newer Suburbans and the newer GMCs, the new body, the one that just came out in 2021. So these cars are already on the road. So these drivers, they're in that category. Black Lane um, is coming to New York first and it will trickle down into other markets such as Chicago and Miami. So I don't know when that's happening. They say March, but there's some more research. This is just a video for my opinion about it. Uber, it is time for Uber and Lyft on their luxury categories to have competition because this is where drivers, if they have the right vehicle, they can make a lot of money. Uber, I'm sorry, not Uber, Lyft. Lyft also has luxury categories such as Lyft Lux, Lyft Black, uh, and Lyft Black XL. And those black vehicles, uh, if you're on the look, if you're on the Lyft Black and Lyft Black XL, those vehicles, those drivers are now required coming up soon. I don't know the dates because I'm not a Lux driver, but I've seen screenshots on Facebook where Lyft is requiring drivers to have uh, um, to have insurance, commercial insurance, and Miami Dade chauffeur's uh, license, Broward's license. And I think, and I don't think Palm Beach, I don't think Palm Beach is in there, but I've seen Broward and Miami. So those drivers actually have to get licensing now and insurance uh, for to use the Lyft's black uh, uh, um, category as a driver. 
So Black Lane, uh, what I saw was you would need the same thing. The only difference is, is that you would be, you would go into the system and you would accept the booking rather than driving around the city looking for a ride. Now, Uber has tried to solve this issue with adding Uber Reserve. And I talked about this before. They said it that you needed to be a comfort driver to use this service. However, when I look on the passenger's end, I see only Premier. So I don't know what Uber was talking about when they say comfort and Premier and Premier SUV drivers. I only see Premier drivers are able to have this option on the passenger side where you would book in advance 30 days for a car and that car will come to you directly. Um, Black Lane looks like it's geared towards airport or any port entry, uh, such of course as cruise ports and all that. Uh, it looks like that's what they're going for, mostly airports. And they're all over the world. They're in Europe and, uh, uh, and Asia markets. Um, they're there. So they're now they're trying to bring the flavor here. And let me tell you something. It looks like from what I'm seeing, the drivers are happy. And uh, these drivers are not driving, just, just not driving uh, Escalades, but they're driving Mercedes-Benz S-Classes from what I saw and BMW 7 Series. And it looks like they're being paid accordingly very well uh, through the Black Lane app. So I think Uber has to look back at their, uh, their luxury parts uh, for... Uh, um, uh, uh, for uh, for the drivers are uh, because you're looking at drivers driving these beautiful black Suburbans and GMC they go one right now passing me Suburbans and GMC Yukons and 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 it's a lot of Escalades as well that are coming in uh, in this market and you're kind of looking at they're actually making a lot of money and the answer is I don't really see them making money maybe uh, Black Lane can help the, the drivers if they're able to do that. But what I do not know, and I'm going to get some more research and I'll do another uh, video. I don't know if you need a chauffeur's license and your own insurance to be a Black Lane driver. That's the only thing. But they're dressed nice. They wear the suits. Uh, the men and women wear the suits. Uh, very, very crisp. And you and they are, they are, um, they are, their cars are high-end vehicles uh bmw 7 series mercedes-benz s classes and uh i did see an audi a8l so uh those vehicles are um are on the high end i've seen those on the black lane youtube page so uber got to give some flavor to the drivers because you know right now the drivers are looking for other things and i think it's a good uh good mix with uh, the luxury services out there. You got Lyft, you got Uber. Now, if you get Black Lane, I don't know, even me, I might want to go transfer, get myself into a Suburban or something because if I'm seeing this, that means that if Black Lane is coming into Miami and New York, that lets me know that they see something that I'm not looking at in the luxury market. Uh, and if they're doing that, I'd rather drive luxury, to be honest with you. I just don't have the money right now. Well, the money's there. I just don't want to spend it. That's that's my thing. I just don't want to spend it because I have an XL vehicle. Anyway. But anyway, with that being said, what are your thoughts on this? This is just an opinion. This is a synopsis, real quick, of what I looked at. I haven't gone in detail with it, uh, but yeah. Do you think that we need more competition when it comes between Uber and Lyft? And if you if you do, uh, leave a comment in the description. I mean, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, leave a like if you if you may. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you like. It's much appreciated for the new subscribers to the channel. And I really appreciate your comments. And with that out of the way, thank you very much, guys. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.